Hello. Well, at the moment, the whole country is inflamed with a little video clip of a shopkeeper defending his property. I'll play the clip to you. Now, just a minute, before I carry on, it said he choked her. Uh, that's what he's been accused of because he grabbed her around the neck. Look at that woman's body. Where else is he supposed to put his hands? Huh? OK, let's carry on. I'm going to call the police. I'm going to call the police. So she is being violent to him. Isn't she? Right? Let's carry on. We see here someone who was caught shoplifting and is now screaming, call the police. And that's because she absolutely is certain of her own entitlement. She is so sure of her own entitlement that her crime means nothing against the fact that that guy wanted to try and stop her from committing that crime. And then after that, when the clip went viral, we've got this. Now, I was talking about, uh, interestingly enough, only a day ago, I was talking about the death of the high street. I'll leave a link in, in the, the description or something. But I was talking about the fact that shoplifters are shutting down shops because the police aren't there. Well, you can't expect the police to be there on the spot at the moment. But what you can expect is for the police to look at what happened and say to the woman, you're under arrest, lady. And uh, that shopkeeper was just defending his property and that's all right. But no, now the shopkeeper's getting it. And uh, you get this mob, this howling mob. All right, they're not exactly howling, but they're pretty threatening outside his shop. Uh, we don't shop here. Uh, yeah, well, uh, uh, they probably don't shop there. And then we get the guy interviewing. Uh, that'll come. You're going to start beating me. And what should, I, what, what should I do? Well, many people are saying that you shouldn't have choked her. No, I choking means like, it looks like I am choking her. What do, you, what do you think? That poor fellow, he is, by the sound of things, by the way he's expressing those, he just wants the truth. He's just saying the truth. He wasn't choking her. He was grabbing at her. At one point it was round her neck. He had his arm round her neck. That wasn't a deliberate chokehold. But there weren't many places where he could actually get hold of her. And in the end, you saw he was holding her arms. He was merely trying to restrain her. And he is standing here explaining himself to this, uh, the, the, this interviewer. It's not choking. Like, I... I... At the moment, my hand was like one hand was at the back. OK, I was like detaining her. It wasn't an intentional like it just like get, get around her neck randomly. And if that was your daughter or wife, how would you react? Poor fellow, you can only feel sorry for him. Why should he have his stuff stolen? And why should somebody like that just go in and try and cheat him and steal from him and then say he's the bad guy? And why should there be an interviewer standing here haha, <laughs> with his dreadlocks? Which imply his political position and it's probably why they sent him there. Why should he not be saying to, to this guy, go away? It's my shop. That woman shouldn't have been stealing from me. She's a thief. And he's not doing that. 
He's explaining himself. Makes him look like he's in a weak position. Infuriating. If that was your daughter or wife, how would you react? If that was if that was my daughter, I would give her a bloody good hiding for doing that in a shop. Bloody hell! How could this fellow ask that man? How would he feel if his daughter were caught shoplifting and were restrained? He'd probably be covered in embarrassment. It doesn't look like this interviewer has even uh, considered that possibility of being embarrassed about stealing, of being in the wrong if you're stealing. I would react the same way the people are reacting. That same thing is like what the second moment I need to think about, being as a man or something like that. I should ask my daughter, what you have done? Have you done something? He's... I don't know who that fellow is. I don't know him, but he looks to me like a law-abiding citizen and a good parent. That's what he looks like there. He's certainly presenting in that way. And the way he was presenting to that shoplifting thief, that destroyer of civil society, it was reasonable and proportionate. And she was certainly not holding back with regard to him. Was she now? Definitely I have regrets. That's why I'm talking to you like that. These are the regrets. Like when I, when, when I told the police officer, I don't want to press the charges. These are the regrets like at that time. He doesn't want to press charges. Well, he should. The government should press charges, but they won't. They'll just let her go. And that mob of destroyers of society will be outside the next shop the next time uh, one of them tries to steal he, his shop's going to close down another shop off the high street hmm? and i was talking about why high street shops are closing down only yesterday all right <sighs> i'm granny opterix i'm on youtube rumble bitshoot and minds i'm also on twitter and gab all the links are in the description, including links to donation sites, uh, which you can use and for which I am grateful. But uh, really, the best thing you can do, and it won't cost you anything, is click that like button, share the video and subscribe. OK, till next time. Why not treat yourself or a favoured relative or friend to these magnificent examples of merch? The mugs and t-shirts come in the Granny Opteryx design or Granbo with a firearm or the more deadly knitting needles. Go to www.grannyopteryx.com and whatever platform you're watching this on, please click like, subscribe and share, share, share.